Welcome back to the Recap Central. Today we'll be recapping The Time Machine, 2002, directed by Simon Wells, is a film about a man in the 19th century who builds a time machine to try and save his wife, but fails and tries to find answers in the future. Let's get started. In 1899, Alex Hartigen, a dedicated scientist in New York City, is captivated by the concept of time travel. While working as a professor of applied mechanics and engineering at Columbia University, he faces challenges due to his unconventional theories and maintains a correspondence with Albert Einstein. On his way to meet his girlfriend Emma at the park, he becomes engrossed by an early motor car near the gates. Quickly gaining favor with the driver, Alex averts a potential mishap by activating the parking brake. Despite forgetting to bring flowers, he rendezvous with Emma at the skating rink and proposes as they stroll through the park. Their joy is short-lived when a robber emerges, brandishing a gun. In the ensuing struggle, Emma is fatally wounded, dying in Alex's arms. Devastated, he dedicates the next four years to relentless work in his laboratory, successfully creating a functional time machine. His isolation causes strain in his relationship with his oldest friend, David Philby, who confronts Alex when he finally visits the lab. Tempers flare, and Philby attempts to coax Alex back to a normal life by inviting him to dinner. However, Alex postpones the dinner, stating that their conversation wouldn't have occurred in a week. With the time machine completed, Alex travels back to the tragic night four years ago and intercepts Emma before she encounters his 1899 self. Leading her away from the park, they head to her apartment. Despite Alex's efforts to prevent the previous danger, Emma is inadvertently struck and trampled by a horse-drawn carriage, startled by the early motor car. Alexander, filled with bitterness, acknowledges that preventing one potential cause of Emma's death only opens the door to another. Disillusioned by this reality, he resolves to venture into the future for answers. Arriving in the year 2023, through time travel, Alexander discovers that efforts are underway to colonize the moon. His exploration leads him to the New York Public Library, where he engages in a conversation with Vox 114, an artificial intelligence librarian in holographic form. Despite gaining information on notable figures like H.G. Wells, Isaac Asimov, Harlan Ellison, and even details about one of his own papers, the library lacks any insights into time travel theory, with Vox asserting its impossibility. Frustrated by the absence of relevant details, Alexander inquires about the time machine itself and is directed to information about H.G. Wells' novel. Finding no substantial leads, he continues his journey into the future, encountering a setback in 2037, when the moon's mining operation disrupts its orbit. This results in the moon fragmenting and hurling massive rocks toward Earth. Alexander's presence attracts the attention of military personnel, prompting an attempt to arrest him. However, he manages to escape, entering the time machine just as the city faces destruction. Despite being knocked unconscious, Alexander speeds through the millennia. Upon regaining consciousness, Alexander brings the time machine to a stop in the year 802,701 AD, where he discovers that civilization has regressed to a primitive hunter-gatherer lifestyle. The survivors, known as the Aloy, have built their homes into a cliffside resembling Manhattan. Alexander forms a connection with Mara, a teacher among the Aloy who recalls some of the time traveler's now obsolete language. Simultaneously, he realizes that the moon is now shattered into pieces. Upon Alexander's introduction to Aloy society, he encounters remnants of New York's past, such as stone fragments and signs from iconic landmarks like Tiffany & Co., the Empire State Building, and a section of tiles from the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall subway station. While examining a machine following a visit to an Aloy memorial, where Mara urges him to return to his own time with her younger brother Kalen, the peaceful Aloy face an unexpected attack from Morlocks. These monstrous, pale creatures, reminiscent of apes, prey on the Aloy for sustenance, and in the chaos, they seize Mara. In an attempt to locate Mara, Alexander is directed to the ghost, revealed to be Vox, the holographic librarian, from his pre-moon destruction conversation. With Vox's assistance, Alexander accesses the Morlocks' underground domain, but is subsequently captured. In an underground chamber, 
he discovers Mara, confined in a cage, and encounters the Uber Morlock, their leader. The Uber Morlock unveils their caste-based society, with super-intelligent telepaths governing, and the hunters, like those who attacked earlier, serving as predators. Justifying their actions, the Uber Morlock argues that they are not inherently evil, challenging Alexander with the question, who are you to question 800,000 years of evolution? He hints at the existence of similar clans. The Uber Morlock discloses why Alexander cannot alter Emma's fate due to a temporal paradox. Emma's death prompted the construction of the time machine, thus, altering her fate would negate the machine's creation. The Uber Morlock emphasizes the Morlock's dependence on individuals like Alexander in their pursuit of science and technology. It is revealed that the Morlocks chose to remain underground after the moon's collapse, while the Aloy faced the fallout on the surface. The Morlocks discovered Alexander's time machine, prompting his desperate act of hurling it forward in time, taking the Uber Morlock with him. A climactic struggle ensues, leading to Alexander pushing the Uber Morlock outside the time sphere. As the Uber Morlock ages and succumbs to death beyond the time bubble, Alexander watches the resolution of their intense confrontation. Alexander decelerates the time machine as the sky emerges above. Having journeyed to the distant year of 635,427,810 AD, he finds a barren wasteland now under the complete dominance of the Morlocks. Coming to terms with the impossibility of saving Emma, Alexander decides to travel back in time to rescue Mara, who is trapped. Upon liberating her and just before their escape, he adjusts the time machine to journey into the future. Using his pocket watch, he disrupts the controls, causing a malfunction that results in an explosion, creating a temporal distortion. As the explosion annihilates the Morlocks, Alexander and Mara manage to escape. Stranded in the future, Alexander determines to construct a new life alongside Mara. He initiates the reconstruction of civilization, with Vox narrating stories from his memory to the Aloy. This concluding scene is juxtaposed with a segment from the year 1903, where David Philby engages in conversation with Alexander's elderly housekeeper, Mises Watchett, bids farewell, and discards his bowler hat on the street. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Be sure to check out our other recaps if you liked this one. Thank you for watching, until next time.